We all connect to brands. Maybe it conveys quality. Maybe it gives us confidence the thing can do the job. It could be airline travel, fuel, a drone. Me, I love the BMW bikes. I look to Ilmberger when it comes to carbon. Metzler always does the job. SC Project Exhaust, spectacular. When it comes to rider clothing, I never really aligned myself to one single brand that I would wear to ride. That was until I found Saint Moto. Well, thank you, Saint, for the new addiction. It was just what I needed, a brand that I would spend money on. So, uh, anyway, look, I'll give you the backstory here. I uh, first heard about Saint. In fact, I hadn't heard about this product at all until December last year or late November or something. Uh, that's 2022. The, the brand is not visible up here in North Queensland where I live. Uh, no one up here had heard about it. So when I first heard of it from Brad Smith uh, from Brap Motorcycles, I went, I thought, well, I'm going to Victoria. I'll go and have a look at them, uh, at the product. And uh, after conversation with them leading up to that date, uh, we agreed that we'd make a podcast because I was pretty interested in the structure of the business itself and how they set this business up. And uh, we set this up to do a podcast with Aidan, who started the company. Anyway, I went down, I went to the, out to the factory or the warehouse that they've got there, and uh, it's a very cool place. I had a look at the product, I sat down, I talked to Aidan about the company, and uh, I ended up buying um, some of the clothing that they've got there. Now, what I want to do in this video, I just want to very quickly run through my opinions and perception of this particular product itself, and then give you some ratings, you know, so I've got some consistency across all the other videos here. But uh, I just got to say up front, very impressed. Like I said, it's a new addiction for me that uh, I just absolutely didn't need. But anyway, what I've got here is um, I've got a, two, two things that predominantly that we're, uh, we've been riding over the, for the last couple of months. That is a pair of riding jeans and then a riding jacket. And they come from their series that they call the Unbreakable series. So you can get the, uh, these particular riding gear in different levels of protection. You can, get, you can get Dyneema enhanced denim, but you can also get the Unbreakable ones. And I think the difference predominantly is going to be the quant quantity or the ratio of the Dyneema to denim that's in the material. But again, I'm not 100% sure of that, but that's been my perception or understanding based on what I've read. Look, you, super fashionable, right? When you open up the jacket itself, the, the quality of the stitching and the lining and the buttonholes and, you know, the development of pockets. And by the way, these pockets fit the large modern phone, which has been a first for me in terms of jackets. I've got a few there that the phone won't go into. Um, there's one on each side. But like I said, the quality of these is just fantastic. But the look itself, right, this jacket, it's very fashionable. And in fact, when I bought it, I was down in um, uh, Victoria the, I, I did use it to do a test ride on some bikes at the Brap motorcycle uh, factory, but I ended up wearing it out at night and uh, no one could tell and everyone commented, you know, what a cool denim jacket I've got there. So very fashionable, right? Very cool, very uh, cool in looks I'm talking about. And the quality, man, blown away by the quality of the stitching and the lining and the buttons and the zips and things like that. So that's the jacket, these are the pants. Pants, same thing, right? You know, again, very fashionable, very cool, uh, multiple options in terms of colors and things like that. One of the things that I did notice is when the jacket comes with multiple choices in terms of uh, these collars. So that fluffy collar that you've got on the top there, you can actually remove that. And uh, I'd taken it off riding around up north here. And uh, you can replace it with a white one, you can leave it off, you can do whatever you like. So uh, like I said, very fashionable. It sets itself up to be able to be worn in different configurations. Wearability itself. I think one of the most important things to recognize is that Saint have done something unusual. They've gone away from the, the, the whole mainstream thought process that denim jeans uh, or riding jeans are basically denim jeans with a Kevlar liner or some sort of sleeve inside. And you, you, know, you dress in there and you get the protection from the Kevlar inside because you know, denim isn't gonna help you at all in terms of abrasion resistance. Now, 
where Saint have completely changed that thought is they've gone to what Aiden refers to as a one protection, one layer protection. And that is, there's no liner in here, right? It's a pair of denim jeans that is basically a combination of denim and dyneme sewn together. So your abrasion resistance and protection comes from, primarily from the denim itself. So that's a very cool thing. And what that means is when you wear it, right, to me it feels a bit lighter. Um, it doesn't feel as puffy or as thick uh, in comparison to what I've ridden in the past with the, the riding jeans that have a liner in it. And the other thing is I noticed is when you take them off, you're not pulling the liner out with your legs. So if you sweat in them or something like that, it's not unusual in the old style of uh, jean for the liner to, to come unstuck and pull out and you've got to stuff it back in there. So uh, it's a very cool uh, concept, this one layer protection. Now, the protection itself, I want to talk about a couple of things. First of all, the protective strength of Dyneema. Um, the unbreakable line, I believe, um, is a higher ratio of Dyneema within the fabric itself as compared to what they, I think they call it, uh, Dyneema Enhanced Denim um, series of clothing, which are going to be a little bit cheaper. The, the unbreakable line has got a about a 25% um, uh, to 25% Dyneema to the remainder being stitching and, and denim. Now, so from a protection perspective, it's important to recognize that this Dyneema is incredibly resilient. Um, it's apparently 15, 15 times stronger than steel, very hard to cut, and you'll see in the testing um, on the website and the YouTube channel associated with Saint that they've done a whole bunch of stuff, you know, tried to cut it with knives. So now you're here again, knocking at my door. A little too late for, I'm sorry for. The lights went out cause you kept cutting the cord. And I started to fade into your grave. See, I finally opened up my eyes. And I saw me coming back to life. That I'd be better. protection perspective you know I sense without having thrown myself down the bitumen myself that uh, they're going to do a pretty good job. The other thing to uh, point out is in the unbreakable in the men's jeans you get the option of buying this D30 protection armor and uh, it's interesting because I looked at that and went that's fairly flimsy you know but then I, re I recognized that in other jackets that I've got there they just got some foam in it and this particular including my leathers by the way now this particular material is a little bit different. It's not made by Saint. They actually purchased this from a company that makes D30. And this D30, when I did the research on it, is quite a unique material. This is not just some printed you know, plastic or something like that. It has some pretty unique qualities. When it is impacted, it reacts to it, and I believe it gets harder and stronger. So there's some high quality um, you know, technology and thought process gone into the armor material that they're actually inserting in the jeans. And like I said, in the men's unbreakable jeans, it comes with the options of actually getting the armor and putting this in there. Right, it's not cheap, but it's high quality and uh, uh, you know that's pretty advanced in terms of its technology. Now that option also comes with the uh, jacket as well, the unbreakable jacket. So this one here has got line, it's actually got this D30 liner in it four different, in four different parts and uh, people don't even know, right? There's a bit of weight in it, but people aren't even aware that uh, it's got that um, armor in it. The other thing, uh, beyond riding, right? Like I said, very fashionable, very well made. Um, without, again, without me testing it, I'm pretty confident that the protection capability of this stuff is just gonna be outstanding bar none. And uh, in many cases, better than leathers, which uh, I've experienced on the track. Uh, poor quality leathers tearing apart, probably gonna be better than the most of those. The other thing is, it's interesting because um, I liked it so much that this is now our uniform. I have um, Saint shorts that we wear in the office and uh, I know that uh, the Saint trousers are worn in various places as uniforms uh, by other companies. 
What I want to do to wrap this video up is just talk about the ratings that I've got here. I've got a couple of ratings just to be consistent across the different videos that we're doing. And uh, again, this is my opinion based on comparing these to the products that I know and have tried in the past, things like that. Value for money, I've got to give these a four out of five, right? They're quite expensive, they're premium priced for a premium quality product. There is no doubts about that. But the interesting thing is when you go online to the Saint um, uh, website, you know, and you join up there and become part of their little communication club, you get offered specials in there. So you can go online and you can buy some of these with a discounted price. And I go, those 100% are gonna be five out of five in terms of value for money because what you get for your money is exceptional. And uh, look, you know, that's my thoughts anyway. Fit for purpose, I've got to give these a five out of five. These are intended to be fashionable denim wear that provided a high level of protection for motorcycle riders. And I've got to say, these things have met every objective that I could, uh, you know, would associate with that type of product um, as well as it could be met. And uh, so I'm definitely going to give these a five out of five. They exceed uh, the quality and the performance of all of the other jeans that I've even had a look at in terms of their fit and their wear. Um, but also, if you look at the technical aspects of their protection, it has to be in terms of protection as well. Finish presentation. Uh, the reason I give this a five out of five is just have a look at these. I mean, they're exceptional, right? They're very fashionable. They've really thought about the design of these. They're presented in a way that is very cool. When you buy these, they come with these very cool tags. And in fact, one of uh, the Unbreakable series comes with a little catalog, uh, like a little manual that you can read. It gives you a lot of information about um, the product itself. So the, the way that they presented these is exceptional. The workshop or the, fa the factory, I should say, um, or warehouse that they've got down there in Victoria. Again, you know, just very modern, very retro. Uh, I, I just love it. So the presentation of the Saint product is exceptional as it is on their website as well. Okay, quality, five out of five, 100%, because just have a look at these. The stitching, the quality of the buttonholes, the quality of the liners, the quality of the material, it is all exceptional. I've got a pair of shorts that, you know, and again, I, you know that I've got these as my uniform shorts at work. I've got a pair of shorts that we had before this and every single one of them eventually had loose threads in the pockets that would hook on my keys. And to date, I haven't found a loose thread on these uh, shorts and I'm super happy with the quality of those as I am with the jeans and the jacket. Performance, I've, look, I have to give this a four out of five. I can't give it a five out of five until I throw myself down on the bitumen, which I am absolutely not planning to do. So I'm judging my understanding of the performance on my, based on my knowledge of Dyneema and the protection that it would give and also looking at the videos and the testing and uh, that Saint conducted and having conversation with Aiden, the owner of the company. And uh, I'm gonna give it a four out of five, but uh, I'm pretty confident that this is gonna be able to do everything that I would expect of it in terms of protection. Okay, final thing is options. I'm gonna give this a, uh, I'm gonna to be tough on it. I'm gonna give them a three out of five. The reason I'm saying that is I think uh, there's a room there for a few more different options that you could get, not with the individual pieces, you know, like this jacket. I, I, I can't fault it. I love it, uh, as I do with the, the trousers here. But I did notice that the girls can't get the armour. They can't get the D30 armour because they don't have the pockets in their jeans. I thought that would be a good option for the girls to have. And the other one is, and I'm just going to throw it out there, a two-piece um, connectable set. So not just having a jacket and a, and a pair of jeans that are separate, but also having the ability to connect the two because uh, I think that gives you the ability to use these beyond just what they're in currently being used for. Because could you wear them on a track day? You probably could. Probably, um, you know, they're gonna exceed the performance of many of the leathers that are people actually riding out there. The problem is you can't join the jacket to the jeans and they're gonna pull apart if you fall off the motorcycle. So I think that would be a nice little option as well. Well, there you go. That's my view of the Saint Moto clothing range. And like I said, I'm absolutely chuffed that I've got these and uh, I'm just not happy that I've got this new brand addiction. God damn it. <laughs>